I'm Amy Vedra, Director of Reference at the Indiana Historical Society, and I will be eating a hot pepper today and telling you about the um, Henry B. McLaughlin saga during the Civil, Civil War. Here goes. So during the Civil War, Henry B. McLaughlin was, who had been born in Indiana, had moved to uh, Alabama, and had joined the Confederate Army as a member of the 35th Alabama. And so in 1863, in May of 1863, Henry B. McLaughlin was actually captured as a prisoner of war by the Union Army. His brother was the one at the fight that saw him and captured it captured him and so he ended up in the prisoner of war camp at Johnson's Island in San near Sandusky Ohio and so in so that was May of 1863 in January on January 1st 1860, 1865 the superintendent of the prison where he was wrote a letter to his sister Susan Brown who was a nurse during the Civil War and said, your brother has uh, made it known that he would like to take the oath. And if you could, um, you know, try and help facilitate that because I can't do anything for you. So she went to Oliver P. Morton, whom she had had previous meetings with. And Oliver P. Morton, he wrote her a letter of introduction to the president. And then Abraham Lincoln met with Ms. Br Mrs. Brown. Uh, on January 12th, 1865, and signed her note saying that he should let him take the oath of December 8th, 1863, which was the proclamation of amnesty and reconstruction, and then he would be able to be released. And he actually made it home to Indianapolis before she ever got out of, or got back to Indianapolis herself. And so that is the story of Henry B. McLaughlin and how he ended up in a Confederate, uh, as a Confederate in a prisoner of war camp during the Civil War. That is really hot. <laughs> wow. Whew.